Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Down the Waterhole here in, uh, in another overnight stay here in Cardiff. You'll notice there's a plain white wall behind me. Well, it's mainly because they keep things out. So, today, armed with just a simple bottle opener, we're going to do another Cardiff special, exploring the entire range of tonight's product. As I did mention before in the Jelly Belly Soda, Jelly Belly Gourmet uh, Candy, Jelly Belly Gourmet Candy Review on the Candy Cabana. Today we're going to be taking a look. I mentioned the sodas, and we and I found all the sodas. Today we're going to be reviewing some sodas. We're going to be reviewing nine of them. For one of our soda first soda reviews is Jelly Belly Gourmet Soda Green Apple, Jelly Belly Soda Tangerine Flavor. Interesting development, you could say. Next one is ton is juicy pear flavor. That's one for the that's one for laughs. Next up is uh, lemon drop, lemon drop jelly belly soda. Next one up is French vanilla soda. Next one up is crushed pineapple soda. The next one, ladies and gentlemen, is blueberry. With its distinct blueness. Next up, strawberry jam. Seems to be the odd one out. And finally, the last one, sour cherry flavor. One I'm personally going to be looking forward to. As such, as you may have noticed, I have a bottle opener. Let's get on with it. Now, these all are going to be reviewed individually as well as together. So, grabbing this, and as you can see here, I'm looking forward to this review myself. So, let's start off with the first one. Let's get the, let's get the supposed interesting ones out of the way. Let's go with exotic. Let's go with crushed pineapple first. As you can see, because I have strength. Mm. Not a good start. Okay, now, this is pineapple crushed jelly belly soda. And believe it or not, it does actually smell like a pineapple. But will it make an interesting impact? Let's find out. This is jelly belly pineapple crushed, crushed pineapple soda. Hmm. It's got a very good pineapple taste. It's 120 calories. It's got no, it's got, it's caffeine free, so the freakish. I reckon this is like quality gourmet. As I mentioned before, these are gimmick sodas, and this is in terms of particular gimmick sodas, this is a good one. I like that one. Four to five. Let's go with another. Let's go with another exotic flavor. Next up is tangerine. I don't worry; they'll all be combined at the end of the episode. If this is like quality, right? Right. Let's have a sniff of the tangerine. Does smell very tangerine-ish. Because it's very orangey and there's another thing, so let's get <clears throat> like the candy itself, tangerine has lots of flavour, builds up. Pretty good. Gourmet soda. Very good. These are all natural flavors, by the way. There is no way artificial is in them. That tangerine one gets a four out of five. Very good. Next up, in terms of exotic drinks, I reckon we'll go for the Juicy Pear. So far, it's been, it's been good soda so far. Fuck. Right. As a pear soda, let's have a smell. Don't smell like pear. Very good pear soda. Down that. Very good pear soda. I will admit, that's actually pretty good. Everything else is like juicy, flavorful, goes down well. So pine, very well done. That's a four out of five. Pretty good. Leaving that aside. Next one is going to be the French vanilla soda. This is a lot of people one that should be looking forward to. If you've been looking for a way of actually having a cheap, um, cheap vanilla coke without buying the substance, yeah, to take your regular Coke and hopefully this vanilla one 
Well, it tastes fantastic. This is, this is the French version. And this is a gourmet one, so we can actually get real vanilla soda. So let's take a sniff. Oh, I do smell vanilla. Oh, that's very nice. It's very, it's clear. As you can see, it's very picture clear. So, damn it, Hatch. Well, that's nice. That's very good. The, the vanilla just hits you instantaneously. Fail. God damn it. Um, I would have given that 5 out of 5 except for that fail. So, I give that a 4 out of 4. Next up is going to be something that I'm probably not interested in. Strawberry jam. Strawberry jam's alright, but let's see if it actually works in soda form. We're out of the way now, so... Alright. What the hell that does spell? Like strawberry jam. <clears throat> Tastes like strawberry jam. That's pretty good, actually. Four out of five. They're not. All these ones are not good. Are good, but they're not. But they don't stand out. Well, the, the vanilla one was a close one, but unfortunately, I had a fucking accident. So well, that's my fault for giving it a bad rating. All right, let's get the next one out of the way. Blueberry. Yeah, blueberry. Stars. Oh, I'm gonna be so hyped after this, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I can hear it now. Ooh, bounce, bounce, bounce on the walls. Right. Well, that's the best. Well, that's a good smell. Let's see if it tastes fantastic as the candy is. Blueberry soda from Gore from Jelly Belly Gourmet. Actually, it's immediately I'm not a fan of blueberry. That gets a three. Next one is, of course, the apple green apple je jelly belly. Let's see if this actually beats the other competition in terms of green apple drinks that already exist. Oh, okay. I think it smells like apple. Or is it just my nose? Anyway. Well, it's not artificial, but hey, it works fine. <clears throat> Alright, that is pretty not bad. It's not perfect. I'll give it a, what, a 3 out of 5? Here it is, next one, the lemon drop. Let's get this one out of the way. Right. Lemon drop. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Pretty good lemon. Ah, most. This is like lemon. This is like a ultra good lemonade. <clears throat> yeah, this is good lemonade. I agree. That is a four out of five. And now the last one, cherry sour. Opening it here. Last one, and I'm gonna pretty much wrap it up. So, first, but like cherry. So, this is the cherry, so, cherry sour cherry. Mm. Questionable, very, very questionable. It, I don't taste the sour. It just, I just taste the freaking um. Yeah, I just taste the um cherry. It's a three out of five. That's concluded for the chip. I would say I recommend the lemon drop. The lemon drop is actually pretty good if you could find it. Um, from the exotic range, I would give the pineapple one a good a chance. French vanilla is just French vanilla. It would have been higher, but I'm not out of my accent. Another that, that's the end of the episode. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all in the near future. Bye for now.